Okay. Okay, so... So, this happened yesterday. Some NASCAR stuff. And all day, all day I've been thinking about it. Uh, some people, some people at work asked me like, Hey, I saw it happen at the race yesterday. What did you think? What did you think of it? Uh, I, w I did some like school thing today. So like school back school crap. Uh, people, people there were asking me, what did you think? So I, I, now I know my opinion is extremely important. It is as important as it gets. Like I am basically like, like this, I, besides like if you ask like Jesus about something, like I'm, I'm basically the second most important person you could ask about anything. Uh, here's what I think about this finish. Cause this is like one of the craziest finishes I've ever seen. And I just want to say, I hate it. Austin Dillon, I never liked him. Well, I did until like a couple years ago. But I, the only reason I liked him was because, oh, he drove, he drives the three. That's just like Dale Earnhardt. That's so cool. But then the magic kind of wears off when you see a guy driving, you see a guy driving a cool number, but he wrecks like every week. Like, so he drives the three. Like, I don't give a piss anymore. Like, a big reason why I don't like him is just because, like, he's backed his way into every single one of his wins. I just watched the Ellie Productions video about him, the Mickeyest Mouse, because he is a real Michael Rat. He is Michael Rat. Won the Coke 600 by, because everyone else ran out of fuel. Won the Daytona 500 because he dumped a guy. Won at Texas because... Won at Texas because the guy he was racing against shows a bad lane for a restart. Won his second race at Daytona at the Coke 400 because everyone wrecked. And then, like, he drove through, like, the only other, like, competitive car. So, like... And now this... He dumped... Now, I also don't like Denny Hamlin and Joe Logano. I don't like either of them. But, like, watching through that race, like, I already didn't like Austin Dillon, so I was kind of hoping he didn't win that one. And I was thinking, like, you know, I'm willing to settle for Logano or Hamlin win just this once because, like, we can... We cannot let a guy like Austin Dillon, 32nd in regular season points, make it to the playoffs because that is just another one, like... I swear, it happens every year. We have these moments that just completely expose and undermine the playoffs and why it's just stupid, but we still do it. Um, but, like, the way Austin Dillon won that race, first thing he did, drove right through Joey Logano. I didn't care about that. I thought that was... Well, I thought it was stupid and dirty... But because it both happened to Joey Logano and I didn't think Austin Dillon would win after that, I didn't care a whole lot. I thought, oh man, Joey's going to be so mad. He's probably going to fight Austin Dillon. That would be so fun to watch. But then he tries to right hook Denny Hamlin. And that was the point where it went from, okay, this is fun, to what are we doing as a sport. Like, what are we doing? Because right after, now, now to be fair, it's only Monday, like day after the race ended, and usually NASCAR doesn't come out with a decision until like the middle of the week, so who knows. Maybe by the time this video's up and all that stuff, they're going to come to a decision about it. But if they, but if they do nothing, then that, I think that'll be absolutely horrendous for like the integrity and the legitimacy of the sport because what that means is like coming to the checkered coming to the line you can do whatever you want if you want to at Talladega right hook a dude send him into the fence and like send him into the wall and then have like 20 dudes pile into him it's all fair game it's fair game you can do that 
It's that's what it's what NASCAR wants you to do because it's all oh it makes good entertainment. Every time something like this happens, I hear the same thing over and over again that this trickles down into the lower series like you see like an occasional dirty move from someone in the cup series and what that does is that people in the lower series like Xfinity, Trucks, Arca, like local late model stuff, they think, oh these guys do it and they win a lot of races. That means I can do it and win a lot of races too. And then you go out and have these stupid kids just go out and like it's they they treat they treat it like it's their track and everyone else is just on it. Like they think they're Everyone on the track thinks they are like prime Dale Earnhardt, but they are not. Nobody is. It's like they think all like Austin Dillon probably thought like, man, I'm just like Dale Earnhardt. Like, no, he is not. He is not the guy. He will never be the guy. Like, he is not. He's nothing. Like, he's he's just not. He's just not. Like, man, man, like, what will this mean for, like, the future of our sport if we let this win stand? Because this is the most egregious way I've ever seen someone win a race in, in my lifetime. I've been watching since uh, 2015, and, like, uh, dirtiest, the dirtiest moves from what I can think of is, like, Joey Logano wrecking Matt Kenseth, um, Joey Logano dumping Truex, that's probably a bit of bias there from me being a Truex fan, um, a lot of these involve Joey Logano, Joey Logano, uh, dumping, uh, well, bumping into, uh, William Byron at Darlington, you got Ty Gibbs dumping, uh, Ty Gibbs, who's the dude, Brandon Jones, um, I gotta think. I gotta think a little bit more. I, there's a lot of examples I can think of that I'll throw that I'll throw out there once I like get home and I edit and stuff and think about it. But like with all those wins that I've seen, at no point did I ever think that was so bad that the driver should get their win taken away. At no point did I ever think that. This is the first time I have ever thought this was so bad that a driver should get their win taken away. Because like, you just can't do something like that. And NASCAR has set a precedent by right hooking someone. That is a one race, that is like a suspension. Bubba Wallace, when he did that, suspended. Chase Elliott, when he did that, suspended. Uh, trying to think. That might have happened again. Those are the two examples I think of. And if you look, if you look, there is there is like the telemetry out there. You look at that stuff, you will see that, yeah, he did right hook him. Denny Hamlin, like off the turn, he, like off the of turn 40, like he left quite a bit of room for, for Austin Dillon. Like he went in the turn like deeper than you normally would. And, like, that, that's as blatant as it gets. And his spotter was yelling at Austin Dillon, telling him to wreck Denny. Coming down, 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 if they let this, like, go unpunished, then this is, like, the biggest, like, Pandora's box moment for our sport. Because, like, at that point, like, this is real, like, gloves off, just, just real, like, insanity, but not, like, fun insanity, but, like, this is stupid kind of insanity. Like, I, I like crazy stuff. I go to Bowman Gray. 
so like you that's that's where I get views that's where people watch my videos so I, I like Bowman Gray but like I don't want to see that stuff make its way into the cup series I I want the stupid stuff to stay confined to where stupid stuff should be it shouldn't make its way to the to the to the biggest stock car racing league in the world and like and like I'm not the kind of guy who thinks like oh man any kind of contact is dirty racing like and I am a bit more like not biggest fan of that kind of racing but like that's why I like NASCAR like you can't do that kind of stuff with the cars that they do in IndyCar and Formula 1 and like the fish year that Formula 1 has you'd never even be able to try anything like that but with IndyCar you just can't do that because cars are too fragile uh, they won't let you do that in like V8 supercars or like IMSA like they just don't like it when people do that I don't know how it works for like I don't know BCCC but like the point is I like NASCAR because it's that kind of like beating banging and rushing them up well, yeah brother woohoo like yeah that's fun that's what makes NASCAR NASCAR but there there has to be a point where you think like maybe we've gone a bit too far there has to be a point like that there has to be a point like there has to be there just has to be a point where all you can think about is we have gone too far and we cannot let this win stand we cannot we cannot let drivers do stuff like this now drivers shouldn't be like penalized for like a bump and run hell I, if like it's a single car spin I don't think you should be penalized like yeah that's dirty but I think that's within the rules like a single car spin but like I just think it's egregious like what Austin Dillon did because he tried to he dumped two guys instead of one and he like man I, I'm just at like I don't know I just don't know though I'm definitely the kind of guy who's I will not be done with NASCAR if, like, they just let this stand, but, like, you gotta start, like, asking questions, like, like, I feel like I'm the kind of guy who's just like, I'll stick with this sport until I die, but, like, man, there are, there are some days where you think, there are some days where you just think, like, what are we doing, this is stupid, this is, this is an embarrassment. That's all I can say. This is an embarrassment. Like, these stupid drivers. Like, this This is stupid. That That's, that's my final thing I gotta say. This is stupid. This is stupid and subscribe to me because I am just so cool. Subscribe to me. Give me, give me your money.